Despite the wintry weather around the area tonight, the snowmobiling season is over, except for the most northern parts of our state. All winter long, we've been bringing you a new segment, Snowmobiling Spotlight, with the help of the Maine Snowmobile Association. Alyssa Thurlow spoke to one local club about how its 2022-2023 season went and what their responsibilities are heading into the offseason. She joins us now with more. May snowmobiling season got off to kind of a slow start this year, but overall clubs say they had a pretty average season. Now that the trails in this region are no longer covered in snow, clubs are at work catching up with landowners and making sure those trails are ready for next season. We have 14,000 miles of trails in the state, and over those 14,000 miles, 98% of them are on private landowners. Each year, thousands of snowmobiling enthusiasts take to the trails throughout the state. All of them are maintained and ready to go for riders each season thanks to a collaboration with private landowners, local snowmobiling clubs, municipalities, and the Bureau of Parks and Lands. For the members of Glenburn Lakeside Rider Snowmobile Club, their work begins in early September. We have probably 15 to 20. Uh, we land, we cross, and we try to see each one of those people in the fall. Um, here we are again, asking to use your, your trails. Uh, anything we can do to make it better. If they want a certain uh, trail marked out or fences put up, we accommodate them. Even with the 2022-23 season in the rearview mirror, their focus remains on the landowners. And at this time of year, we're looking at what do we need to do to help our landowners so that next year when we come to them and say, hey, can we, they'll say absolutely. As we pick up signs and stakes at the end of the season, uh, we try to pick up the trash and ask any questions of the landowners what we can do better to accommodate their needs. There are more than 280 snowmobile clubs across Maine. It is crucial they work with the private landowners and submit their names to the Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry Snowmobile Program as they're responsible for sending out grants for trail maintenance. It's their responsibility to, to send in landowner lists to that department so that they have copies of the list and as we've one member just told me not long ago which stuck in my head they he said landowners are more valuable to us than snow if you are one of the lucky ones still hitting the trails up in Aroostook County be sure to ride right ride to the right ride sober stay on marked trails and be sure you're riding at a reasonable speed and be sure to follow all posted signage. They've given us that opportunity to use that portion of their trail. We need to make sure that people stay where they are. That's why we also have the stay on mark trail sign. We're hoping that people will read those signs and understand, okay, it's again, it's a privilege, not a right to be there. The Maine Snowmobile Association will be holding their annual directors meeting and awards banquet on Saturday, April 29th at Jeff's Catering in Brewer. More information can be found at MainSnowmobileAssociation.com. And if you missed any of our previous snowmobile spotlights, you can find them on our website, WABI.TV. Back to you.